I, I do believe that clients should have certified trainers. Um, it's, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Why would you want somebody in the field, well, that doesn't know what they're doing? Alicia Whitmore, a personal fitness trainer at Genesis Health Club, has gone through years of school and training to get her certification. Although today, more and more trainers without certification are able to acquire jobs. I really truly feel it's extremely important um, to have a certification or a degree in exercise science. Um, it's just when somebody comes, like a client comes wanting a personal trainer, it's really important that they um, receive a personal trainer who has a correct education and background and experience um, training other clients because it's a huge liability to the gym um, and also it's just a risk for the client to um, have a personal trainer who doesn't have any experience. Many people who attend Genesis don't have personal trainers, but choose to work out with friends instead. Personal trainer be certified because I mean I don't want to get hurt or they like not know what they're doing to where I get hurt. But I mean I work out with people sometimes and they don't really I aren't certified but they teach me and stuff, so I mean, it can go either way. One in three Americans are obese, and in 2012, 267,000 Americans had personal trainers. Nowadays, more and more personal trainers are allowed to be uncertified. Whitmore believes new clients should be more aware of who they are training with and their trainer's certification. They might just automatically think that you're certified and um, there may not be any repercussions unless they were to get injured, but say they were to get injured, they'd be like, oh my gosh, well, I thought that you knew a lot about this stuff or um, then they could end up blaming you. Hopefully they wouldn't, but that is a risk that you could be taking. This has been Grace Jerzak. Stay safe, Ravens.